Hello friends, good afternoon. As promised, I am back with the IELTS preparation strategy video. So herein I will reveal my day by day strategy, day by strategy uh, on how to crack IELTS in within 15 days. So let's move on to that quickly. So yeah, this is my board which I have prepared specially for you all, uh, for the audience. So yeah, so this is the planner. So let's divide the preparation in two weeks. Since I am considering that you have less than two weeks, so uh, uh, so we will uh, focus on two weeks plan as of now. Uh, and if you have one, more than one month, then also you can follow this plan because there is no harm in following this plan. Uh, but yeah, the, especially who have less time or who are already late in applications or uh, who have who are planned to give IELTS in two weeks can follow this uh, and refer this to plan. Okay. So now let's first move to week one. So I have also further divided week one within three two parts. Day days one two three and four five six. Yeah, we, I know week is seven days. So don't, don't worry. Uh, it is just a higher level plan on how to follow that. So initially I would suggest you all to go through the IELTS exam pattern. I mean uh, there are four sections we all know. But uh, if someone is starting with the IELTS preparation, then I would definitely recommend them to go them go to IELTS website. Analyze the exam pattern, find out uh, what sections and what are the number of questions asked and what is the mode because everything is given on IELTS website. Then the very important thing is to decide whether what test type to give, the computer based test or uh, pen and paper based test. So the both of, as I already mentioned, both of them have advantages and disadvantages. In computer based test, in the writing section, in writing section the word counter is, the word counter is enabled. So let's say in essay number 2, you have to write 250 words, okay. So there is already a word counter going on while you type, so you do not have to manually count. Whereas in pen and paper test, the biggest disadvantage is that you need to count the number of words or I think you can consider 3 to 4 paragraphs and then you will uh, do the needful. And the very f first thing I would suggest recommend you to, if you are a good, if you are not a good English speaker, or uh, if you haven't practiced speaking in English for a lot many days, then you should find up a buddy or find up a friend and start speaking in English daily for at least two or three minutes. It could be anything. Yeah, it could be just your introduction. It could be just your introduction. It could be just your introduction. Or let's say you are discussing on some important topic, or you you start discussing on about IPL match. Or start IPL match commentary. Just as an example, I am saying that. So in English, and then you find out what improvements you need. So, because since we do not have any English uh, preparation uh, strategy or I would say test, yeah, you can definitely purchase uh, paid test, but this is planned for is completely free, uh, who do not want to pay any coaching fees. Then move, let's move on to days 4, to five, four 5 and 6. So, the first thing I would like you to do is to uh, go through the uh, test series of Cambridge. See, Cambridge test series are freely available on Telegram. I would also give you the name of the Telegram channel in the description below. So you can go through the Cambridge test series because they are very much important. Generally, IELTS exams are based on Cambridge test series. So you will just get an idea how, how are the exams. Then there is one uh, professor called Kiran Mukhtar. Okay. And she has uh, prepared some PDF uh, called uh, a speaking module. So in which she has given some examples and some sample answers, okay, cue cards and introduction and all of that. So the link for that I would provide again in the description, but it is a very good book and a very book, good read. So you can go through the sample answers, how to, how can you answer a cue card or how can you practice introduction, such things. Next, on some of, uh, you should start practice listening and reading tests also. See, there is one website called IELTS online tests, okay. And all of those tests are uh, sample tests and the, the exact format is the same as the computer based test in IELTS uh, exam, okay. So you can start practicing listening and reading tests and analyze your mistakes, find out what ne what do you need to improve on, okay. If you are scoring greater than 7.5 bands in this exam, then I think you are good to go and then you can think of booking a slot. Yeah, very much important thing is in the first week itself you should find out uh, the writing patterns. So by writing patterns, what I mean is, see, uh, there are uh, four to five writing patterns. Okay, what are they? Uh, just a minute, let me erase the code and rewrite it. So what are the writing patterns? 
see writing patterns are very much important again see one of the writing patterns is agree disagree agree disagree uh, sorry for my bad handwriting so agree disagree means you would be given a statement and you would be uh, you need to provide whether you agree or disagree the second type would be express your opinion express your opinion so there are around 5 to 6 types of the uh, essay too you need to practice e for every type you need to practice at least one essay then only i think you would be confident enough to sit in the exam board okay so this is this was all about week 1 see i am still not uh, forcing you to book the slot on week 1 right because in computer based test you will get slots every day slots would be available every day okay so see if you are confident enough during week 1 of preparation then you can definitely go and book your slot otherwise i would suggest you let's move on to now week 2 okay so yeah in week 2 week 2 starting you can if you feel confident about at least three sections that is either leading reading or speaking uh, you can book the test okay you can book the slot then uh, yeah practicing cue cards is very much important okay so, kiran makkar's i let's book it is of uh, 200 pages but yeah you just need to go through all of the cue card samples and you need to practice it with some of your friends yeah so and also if you book the slot you would receive a hard copy book in via post via post okay you would receive a hard copy book from ilts okay and it has lots of contents and what what need, what, what all things need you need to do to um to i mean uh, to paraphrasing what what all things need, you need to do for each section okay and how how are you marked so marking pattern is very well say it is all, all all the information is already present in the website but in the book it also it is there okay and it the book also contains some of the few practice tests okay now again i would suggest you to see listening and reading listening and reading are the very much important sections and you can score a nine band in both of them okay so because it is not that much hard listening and reading so i scored nine band in listening and 7.5 band in reading so i can i think if i can do it you also can do it in listening and reading you can score as much as you can okay because listening and reading are all your all, all your efforts no one is going to judge you so whatever you mark as an option it is either zero or one i mean it is either true or false so listening and reading i would suggest you to give some more practice tests uh, from cambridge and uh, similarly on writing part also you need to focus then moving towards the final the practice i would say final uh, uh, session or i would say final part of the strategy plan just you need to be be calm and practice speaking okay see listening and reading you can complete within week 1 also listening and reading you can complete within week 1 analyze your scores and if you find that i am scoring 7.5 to 7 to 8 bands in between 7 to 8 bands in each of the test then i am going to go with booking a test okay booking a test next thing is writing see speaking is day to day process if you have not spoken and the grammar which you have learned till now within in 15 years of your uh, school and college is going to remain the same okay so you don't focus on learning hard words or learning grammar extremely difficult english uh, tone so be calm and speak in your natural language so that is what matters because i got in in speaking i got seven bands and seven band is considered to be good score in speaking yeah it is not too much good but yeah it is up to the mark so do not practice much more harder words and don't learn vocabulary because whatever you have learned till now is is, is going to remain the same so uh, uh, that is the main strategy in writing you need to just identify the pattern and give three to four practice tests okay same from iltsonline.com i would provide the link in the description again so this was my master plan uh, i would share with you the plan and if you like it do not forget to subscribe to the channel and if you have any doubts you can comment it down or you can reach out to me on linkedin i would happy to help you and do not forget to subscribe the channel and like the content yeah i would i am also trying to uh, prepare a deep dive plans for listening reading all of the individual sections so be calm and be patient and start preparing for the ilts exam thank you for watching